Gary Pettigrew was a longtime guest at Wollaston Lake Lodge, who I've guided for five or six years now. She is unique in every way. I mean, I guide a wide range of guests, and she stands out, certainly. She gets on that platform, and she just fishes all day long, nonstop, one after another. Mary is one of the more entertaining guests we've had here. Edit that one out. My name is Mary. How old are you? 71, but I, th I think a young 71. I am a widow. I am a mom. I'm a grandma. I'm a great grandma. Anyway, that's who I am. Oh, and I'm a fly fisher woman. And that's probably, you know, as important as all those other things. They're little pieces of the pie, I guess. Barry is truly the best big brother I have. Bite me. But, okay. But he's kind of the only brother I have. Mary and Barry, brother and sister, have a funny way of showing affection for one another. It's never serious, you know? Barry may seem serious with his, his deep, dry sense of humor. Uh, one of the comments that really made me laugh so much was Barry goes over to Mar hey, Mary. Did you put on any beauty cream today? Why, yes, Barry, why? Could have used some more. Like, they're unbelievable together. The banter is nonstop. You been wearing that all day? You what? Have you been wearing that all day? Yeah, it keeps the sun off my ears. Okay. Well, no, I was talking about the stupid look on your face. <laughs> Other than I think she should have been put to sleep as a small child, I have no problem with her. We started coming to Wallace and then talking to the rest of the family, say, we found a really nice place. Who would like to go next year? And uh, Hal said, well, I want to bring Mary along. So they came up and so Mary was involved and saw all this and got to fly fishing then and catching fish. And she goes, I really like this. The casting is something that's only about you and nature and the water and then communicating with the fish through something they like. It's just beautiful. It's like going to a symphony. Yeah, I love it. If you're able to get the fly out there, you're gonna catch fish. I don't have to be looking at Mary to know whether or not the cast was good. If it was a good cast, I don't hear much. If it was a bad cast, I get I hear <laughs> every time without fail every time. Oh. <laughs> a bad cast is always. <laughs> My mom is a breath of fresh air. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> every 18-inch pike is a is a giggle fest right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a surprise fish. I don't want to hear her laugh. Hee 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 hee. So, it's, and it's even worse when I'm not catching anything and she is. That's that's the worst part. And I miss him up here, but I also feel close to him up here. Stupidly looking back, I should have known he was gonna die. We had been through so many medical crises, all that stuff in this one time, we just, it was out of our hands. So that was it, it was tough. But immediately, I was relieved for him because he didn't know he was facing dialysis for the rest of his life. I did ask the kids 
would y'all mind, would you think it was weird if I went back to Wollaston, you know, without dad? And they all went, well, no, we think that's great. And I think he would be very happy. And I'm, I'd like to think that he's watching and laughing and being happy that I'm here. Yeah, that's a joyous thing. There's a push for the 50-50 on the water and include more women in outdoor sports. Women, ladies, girls, they're getting more into the sport and it's because of people like Mary that just go out nonstop, doesn't matter the weather conditions. The rain and the, the wind and the cold, she's the first one out there too. That, there we go. Way to go, Mary. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Great. Where are you going? Come on. <laughs> that was fun. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to give it a kiss. <laughs> Got a granddaughter that's coming up that's never been here. She's 13, so when she gets here uh, next week, looking forward to, I feel like when she sees the surroundings here and clear water and she can see the fish come up and eat the fly, I think she'll enjoy it. Here, you get up there and unlatch it. Stop, forward. All right, here's your fish. Okay. Pick it, just pick it up and throw it more left. One more time, more left. Oh, that's perfect. All right, strip it and wiggle it a little bit. See what happens now. Twig, wiggle your fly a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is he still going? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna tighten it up a little bit. All right, so pull up some more and let it reel down to it. You're doing a perfect job. Look at the size of that fish. See if you'll come over to the boat for Phil. Probably not. <laughs> He's a gorilla, isn't he? Raise your rod up a little bit. There you go. Perfect. He's got it. <laughs> Look at the size of that. That is her very first one on a fly. Fly fishing has been a catalyst to kind of bonds us together. That means they come down on weekends. Everybody fly fishes in the family and it's the glue that brought us together. It's that common thread that they always will have. And when you go to their homes, you see it. You see the pictures. Being here together, sharing a meal, sharing stories, to breathe, to feel that, that symmetry, that art between your fly, your line, your rod, the water, and the fish, you know. Anyway, that's who I am. Okay, how's my posture? You're doing great. No, my this posture. Is, it's good. Okay, because I'm feel old. relaxed? This feels really relaxed. Yeah, yeah, liquor help. 